Hello everyone. Today, I want to walk you through setting up your Bose VB Family devices in conjunction with Microsoft Teams rooms. A UC or Unified Communications based room is a self-contained conferencing system that consists of a compute unit, a control device, a display, and a USB peripheral to enhance the audio and video experience of the conferencing space. Together, these parts create an easy to use system that is compatible with meeting schedules and does not require any participant devices to operate. Once a system like this is set up and operational, you will be able to schedule a meeting or simply start a meeting by entering the conference space, selecting a contact or a scheduled meeting and starting the call. Audio and video will be taken care of by the Bose video bar device and in-room display, while other meeting functions can be easily accessed via the control interface. This method of conferencing simplifies the meeting experience and does away with the complications that may be experienced in bringing your own device scenarios. Before you continue your UC room setup, it's important to follow the quick start guide included in your VB device. The most important steps are uploading the firmware and Microsoft based rooms will manage devices via the MTR admin panel. For this example, we will be using an HP Elite Slice G2 audio ready device, as well as the power connections for each device, a USB cable, a network connection via either Ethernet or Wi Fi, as well as an HDMI cable. And we'll begin by mounting your compute device to the desired location in the room. Many of these devices come with dedicated mounting hardware to help you with your installation. Next, mount your Bose VB device in the desired location and ensure you have proper coverage of your room space. Additionally, you can refer to our Bose VB family mounting guide, which can be found on our global EDU website, where you can see the differences between mounting your device via a wall, table, or VESA mounts. Now that your devices are securely mounted, we can begin to set up our connections. First, connect the power supply to the Bose VB device, and then use a USB cable to connect the VB1 to the HP compute module. Once you have the devices connected, you can then connect the HP compute module to your external monitor using an HDMI connection. Now that you've set up your monitor, you can now connect the HP module device to your network using an ethernet cable. And from here, we can finally connect the power supply from the HP compute device to our wall outlet. With each of our devices now connected, we can power up the HP computing device and begin our setup configuration. We will start by logging on to your Teams account using the touchscreen display. And once you are logged in, you will navigate to the settings menu where you will then select peripherals and ensure that your Bose video bar is set for your microphone and camera outputs. Once we are logged in and have our devices set, we are now ready to start our meetings. It's a good idea to give a test call at this point to make sure that everything is working properly. I hope this video helps in getting your Bose VB family devices set up with Microsoft Teams rooms. And for more information and lessons like this, please visit our global EDU website at proedu.bose.com. Thanks for watching.